In an interview to Bharat Shakti, the Indian Air Force chief has said that the Air Force is looking to augment its capabilities with the induction of 83 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft and is fully backing the 5.5 generation AMCA program but will also procure the Tejas Mark 2 in the interim period. The Tejas Mark 2 rollout will happen by early 2023 and its first flight by early 2024. The Air Chief also said that responses from eight aircraft manufacturers have been received for the MRFA tender, and the Air Force will issue the request for proposal soon. Interestingly, there has always been seven foreign aircraft manufacturers in the MRFA tender, that includes US firms Boeing and Lockheed Martin, Russia's MiG Corporation and Shukhoi Bureau, French Dassault Aviation, Swedish Saab Group and the Eurofighter, which could mean that there is a new entry in the MRFA tender, or it was simply a slip off to mind. He also confirmed that the Indian Air Force prefers to take the Bi Global Make in India model to produce the 114 fighter jets within the country, just like the C 295 deal with Airbus and Tata Group. In a demonstration of precision strike capability from long standoff distances, a Su-30 aircraft of the Indian Air Force from the Tiger Sharks squadron took off from the Thanjavur Air Base in Tamil Nadu, after which it underwent mid-air refueling, and then fired the BrahMos extended range missile at a designated target in the Bay of Bengal, and the missile achieved a direct hit. The Su-30 has a combat radius of 1,500 km without mid-air refueling, and the 450 km range BrahMos missile will increase the strategic reach of the Air Force against both high-value land and sea-based military targets. Officials have confirmed that a 800 km range variant of BrahMos is also undergoing developmental trials at present, that was tested for the first time in January this year, and this missile variant will be ready for production by the end of 2023. The Indian Army has put up a proposal to the Defence Ministry for buying 12 units of the new Swati Mark II weapon locating radars worth 1,000 crore rupees, that is expected to be cleared at the Defence Acquisition Council meeting this week. The Mark II version offers better performance than the Mark I version, and the Army is very pleased with its performance in mountainous region at 16,000 feet as well as cold weather conditions. It can simultaneously detect multiple projectiles fired from different weapons at different locations from a range of 50 kilometers. After the scrapping of second order for 72,716 rifles from the US, officials have said that the plan orders for the rifles are now going to be given to Indian vendors, who have made significant developments in this field. The Indo-Israeli joint venture PLR Systems already manufactures all the variants of the Galil rifle, and is currently being trial evaluated by the Indian Army. SSS Defense has also presented its new 7.62mm by 39 caliber rifle to the Indian Army at the recently held North Tech Symposium 2022. Indian Army Chief General Manoj Pandey has arrived in Ladakh and was briefed on the line of actual control with China, and he reviewed the equipments including UAV's high mobility vehicles and the newly inducted fifth generation Spike LR2 anti-tank guided missiles and launchers. India has recently made a precautionary deployment in the eastern Ladakh sector, as the Chinese army and its air force have started a massive exercise on their side. China has informed India about the military exercise, but India is not taking any chances, and has deployed troops radar systems and weapons, which were moved back in the winter months. Omar dropped it.